Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. you that Wiley and the Hairy Man, our fall play, is going to be presented next week. We're already here. You can come and see the show on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday at 7 p.m. It's going to be so much fun and so many of our students have been working really hard. So make sure you come and support them, be a great audience member, and I'll hope to see you there. What's up guys? So I'm Miss Kimberly and today we are going to be explaining what our contest is. So I'm going to give you guys something to do during your guys' fall break, which is going to be a coloring um, or drawing contest of a sugar school. We have different sugar schools that you guys can either color, you guys can use as a reference to draw them. Um, there's going to be different prizes. First prize is going to be a pro club sweater um, from Granite Park. It's going to have the logo, it can have your name, it's going to be definitely customized to whoever wins it. Second prize is going to be a customized pro club shirt and that's also going to be, you know, definitely to your size, to your name. And then third prize is going to be two bags of chicharrones. So if you guys want to enter, you guys are more than welcome to come and find me into my office, get one of these or you guys can draw your own. You guys do have to turn them in no later than the 18th and then we will announce the winner on the 20th. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, definitely feel free to reach out to me or Vince, which is right next door. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Grizzlies are safe. Our most important responsibility as teachers and administrators here at Granite Park is to keep you safe. To help us do this, we have certain protective actions we will take in emergency situations. Now listen closely as this is very important. If there is a potential threat to student safety off campus, the office will initiate or start what we call a lockout. If something off campus is dangerous and could potentially become an issue for us at school, we will have a lockout. When this happens, all outdoor activities are canceled. If you are outside, you will be brought inside. Exterior doors are locked and the police presence at Granite Park will likely be increased. Activities and instruction can continue in the classroom. If you have a classroom that is part of the main Granite Park building, you can even go to the bathroom and get a drink of water as needed. However, no visitors will be allowed in the building unless otherwise directed. If we have a lockout, no one can get in. Something that makes it a little tricky here at Granite Park is that we have reloads. If you are in a reload class during a lockout and you need to use the restroom, the teacher will have to send a message to the office via Teams, and someone from the office will then go to the Relo and escort the student to the bathroom. Again, if you are in the main part of the building, this is not an issue. You can go to the bathroom as needed. But because the exterior doors are locked, it gets a little tricky for the Relos. Another thing to consider is transitions. Again, because we have Relo classrooms, in a lockout situation, there will be no changing of classes. Teachers will keep you in their class unless an announcement is made to the contrary. If students are at lunch 
when a lockout happens, students will be escorted to either the cafeteria or the auditorium, where they will wait for the lockout to end. Again, our goal is to keep everyone safe. In coming days, we will learn about a lockdown, which is more serious. Remember that a lockout is only when a potential threat to student safety is off campus. Now in review, if there is a potential threat to student safety off campus, Granite Park will have a lockout. All students outside will be brought inside. Exterior doors will be locked. So anyone in the reloads will need to stay there unless accompanied by an adult. Students inside the building are allowed to use the restroom as needed. Visitors will not be allowed in the building and students will not transition to the next class until the lockout ends. Stay safe, Grizzlies.